I was like, oh, I hope I put, we don't own the rights to the music. I forgot if I did, but I think I did. I'll ask Brittany to look. I did. Yeah, they're weird about oh, so the music. They're, they're not like that. No, it's okay. They're like that with, um, I play like Agent P's Ibiza mix and it's like, it's like house music Ibiza because well, it's not on YouTube. So what they do is if it's on YouTube, then they use that to run for music and Apple iTunes and stuff. They'll run it for music. So if they don't know the music, they won't harass you. So every day I listen to the same <laughs> astral music because I've had them delete my, I've done a video on here. And it was meditation music I used, and they flagged my whole video or from the Ibiza mix. They flagged it and deleted my whole video. So I was joking around with you guys, and I said that I'm not like Brittany, who every day just plays the radio and whatever she wants on feed. Um, we have like, yeah, we have music on, right? And they're like, sorry, we muted your video, but they didn't delete it. Good morning. I'm um, about to take a train home. I wanted to come say hi to you guys because if I flood Facebook with all this crazy Stonehenge energy and then um, I don't go live today, you guys might have an energy crash where we swing the pendulum so far so our groups are all excited and over the top and high frequency. And then if I don't channel out some energy today, you guys might have a little bit of an energy crash. So me and Cherry had to get on here real quick to send you guys some energy. Um, but you know what? That's all you had to do every space storm is stay high vibe and have a good time and you're gonna shift to a much higher timeline. So just everyone being high vibe around here and excited. Yeah. Um, America is in for it right now. I put up a space weather um, news thing on my page, on my Reiki page. There's an incoming energy wave. Hold on. There's an incoming energy wave that is 3,000 miles away from America. It sounds like it's coming from the UK, right? About the same mileage. It's actually headed there. Um, you guys are going to be feeling intense energy in America until midweek, till about Wednesday. So right now, to me, the energy is calming down here. That it was real crazy, that all that wind, all that crazy galactic wind. And now it's calming down here in the UK, but it's coming across the ocean to you guys. So you guys are going to kind of have, these storms are changing. It's going to be a longer storm. Um, I'm real tuned into the storm cycles. I know how they work. I know the duration of them. And what is happening is the energy is picking up intensity, but the storm cycles are changing. And each storm is lasting longer and we're getting less of a period of rest in between each, you know, energy upgrade that we're going through. And that's what this energy is doing. It is purging everything to the surface, not just for the earth, for us. It's upgrading us. I'm seeing a ton of ascension symptoms already. Yeah. Like today mostly. Not so much yesterday, but people are coming to me not feeling good on our Reiki wall and things like that. Um, so we're seeing a lot of ascension symptoms. These are um, DNA activation symptoms. Pete has been real sick every storm right let's get real I'm like I'm starving <laughs> I'm starving I'm doing my job I'm starving he's like I'm not hungry I'm feeling sick every storm but he's really um you know going through purging since he met me and I just told him he probably needs to go to Stonehenge with us in March because if he will go to the rocks during the space storm it'll help heal him and purge all that out real fast so lots of ascension symptoms going around. Those are DNA activation symptoms. Our first response is when we don't feel good. I lost the lighter again, hold on. <laughs> Our first response when we don't feel good is that it's a bad thing. It must be negative if I'm not feeling good. It must be I'm getting sick. This is poison coming out of your body. So if you're going through it and you're not feeling good or whatever it is, I just feel like I can't move a lot of the time, but it's pulling poison out of your body on every level. So if you're not feeling good, or even if you are, drink a ton of water with this storm. We're getting dehydrated, and then we can't handle the energy as good. It's really affecting us, so try to stay very hydrated through the middle of next week. Like, everyone should be doing a good water detox. I wasn't joking when I said just watching my videos from here. It's going to do something to you energetically, and it's going to make you probably start purging more. If you're already purging going through the storm and you're watching my videos, it could intensify what you're going through. Um, so it's really important, especially watching my feeds, that you guys are drinking more water with this storm. It's so important. We weren't feeling good this morning. The entire... Um, <laughs> the entire hostel smelled like real old bacon. <laughs> it just smelled real awful, the whole building this morning. We were, it was making us nauseous, kind of. We did see some bunnies. We skipped the petting zoo. I wanted to go get a ring tattoo, but they're all, all the places are closed on a Sunday today. Is I wanted. okay? Is you also some of Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> you can give me that, too. <laughs> give me two of them. <laughs> yeah, just do two. Well, I'll do two before I go on the train, right? I got to smoke real quick. 
Hi Dale, we're talking about how awesome your energy is and how we had like the best time. I keep on saying like I don't claim to know everything but I know that we have a very serious past life connection with our consciousness group with those ancient cultures that you're very into. That that was a lot of our past. Um, I told Sherry that you know just go into the rocks I just kind of know what to do there I'm doing the same thing Reiki and praying and chanting and activating myself that all those same people are doing in those cultures you know I just kind of know what to do with those yeah. rocks right I just kind of know how to use them it's just kind of in my build up or something I've never felt more at home <laughs> I was just telling her that I could just live there right I have never felt more at home than I do in the UK either Again. I got one in my pocket. So I'm I want to take this stuff off of Facebook. Australia, oh my god, they're getting you guys are getting a weird, weird climate too, right? Uh, this guy at the rocks was standing there handing out pamphlets and he told me he wanted me to take a climate change pamphlet. And me and Sherry walked away. I said no thanks. And then I told her I don't believe in climate change. Yeah. I believe that the planet is ascending. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not sold on this concept, right? They want to tell you on climate change and all this stuff, but the, the weather is changing. The planet is heating up. Think of it like Kudalini energy, right? The, the planet's getting hotter in a lot of areas like that. So the weather is changing. I had the perfect time. We're going to try to get P to go maybe next time. He needs to just get out of the house. I did say at one point in time, don't you want to just travel the world at some point? Don't you want to just get out? <laughs> and he's like, I already did. But I think seeing the world enlightened is going to be a lot different than seeing the world when I was asleep. Because I went out and saw a lot of the world when I was asleep too. But I was telling her that when I was at some very sacred sites in the Middle East, that I was like, okay, I can't wait to get done. Another archaeologist site. Another site. Um, are we going to be done with this soon so I can go hang out with my friends, right? Sleep minds. So it's much different when you're around these energies. I know that Francisco has been to places like Stonehenge, but it was a long time ago. Same with Allison. And when they go back, it's going to be a much different experience being tuned in and being able to see the spiritual. There was a lot of similarity that I saw at Stonehenge between Israel and the, ro the rocks. That people are doing the same thing. They're going up to the wall and putting their prayers in it and activating their third eye and praying at the wall, right? Or praying at the wall, that's what we're doing. Yep. And it was very similar because I had been to the Wailing Wall in Israel and it was very similar to me. That wall is a temple structure and it's ruins. And it's supposed to be like one of their most spiritual areas in the country and people go like put their prayers in it and pray to it. And it was very similar to the structures at Stonehenge, the rituals that were going on when we were there. It was yeah. just so similar to me. I'm ready for summer. Good, come to the summer. Why don't you come hang out? I've been trying to get this stuff off of Facebook. I'm banned all the time. What happens if Facebook comes and deletes our little grid and our little network? So, you know, since my first Facebook ban, I've already been trying to take this grid off of Facebook into real life, right? I've been testing out areas in that grid. We've got rid of some people. Maybe I met some people and they just weren't who they said they were, right? It doesn't happen often. Usually I'm vibing and having an amazing time, but I did meet a lot of people in our spaces, right? And I can think yeah. I'm checking out our grid. I'm testing our grid out, right? We don't want weak fractal points on our grid, right? No. It'll take the whole thing down. So I've been kind of going off of Facebook and checking out our grid. Dale is grid approved. <laughs> Dale is grid approved, right? I've been going around meeting people on Facebook. I mean, I did have like three people that got kicked off our grid after I hung out with them a couple times this year, right? That we probably just don't want around our movements in our grid. So I've been trying to take it off of Facebook. I want to go meditate in some temples too. I want to get out. I just want to travel. Why not? Yeah. I could. I can go get do. Out, I can world. go do activations where I'm going. If I go to Tibet, I could do some activations, and I could have the money to pay for my ticket or whatever, and go do some activations and travel and get out. So I kind of want to use my mission to travel and see the world more. Um, it's how I got relocated. I would never be in the United Kingdom if it wasn't for my mission and working hard at it. That that's how I was relocated to somewhere else in the world on every level. Through your mission, you can do anything anything through service I'm here to learn service this life yeah. <laughs> I'm here I'm learn how I'm here to learn how to serve people service uh, to yeah and I had to be willing to set aside everything in my life for the good of all like and it's worth it to me I would gladly set aside whatever my ego wanted to build here <laughs> whatever my ego wanted to build here for its life to serve the all there's no there's no more 
there's no more of an empowering feeling than that when you're helping people and you're creating good changes around here and helping. I want to go to Australia bad. It's so far from here too, but it was on my bucket list. I'm not even joking. We never know where my journey will end up. I don't even know, right? Um, but it's definitely a place that's calling me because we do have a lot of light workers in, in Australia. America, Australia, and the United Kingdom. Not as many here, but we do have the majority of light workers are supposed to be spread out in these problem areas. There's a reason we've been placed where we've been placed. Go meet you? people off of Facebook. Go connect with people in our areas, see who lives near you. Go hang out off of Facebook because like, you can see my energy, I'm vibrating right now, like shaking the camera, vibrating. Being around, just hanging out with Sherry, right? We're vibrating, like we're so high vibe, we're vibrating, we're vibing here. And there's no better feeling than hanging out with your soul group. I see Brittany's doing the same thing. She wants, oh, yeah. to, she yeah. wants to take this shit off the online world and into real life. Brittany's testing our grid out too without even realizing it, right? Yeah. She might have people that she meets and she's just not that into off of Facebook and maybe she'll kick them out of our group because she's an admin after, right? And maybe she's having these amazing people that she's connecting with, right? And so, you know, it's a good idea for us to be taking this grid off of Facebook and connecting Absolutely. in real life on every level. There's a lot of power when you can come together with two awakened people, ever. All you need is two people and it puts your manifesting on a new level too. I love it. We have a, I'm on Australia time right now. When I'm in the UK, I feel like I'm on Australia time a lot of the times when I'm doing my videos. So I'm connecting more with places like Australia and New Zealand since I changed time zones because I was on Cali time, which is really late <laughs> compared to the rest of the US, right? So I'm able to connect with different people here too. I couldn't share the Schumann resonance in either groups in my we group or the Reiki group. I couldn't share the energy report from someone else's profile. When I go to post a link, it won't let me. Like I tried to post a link of the vitamins for someone in our Reiki group and I couldn't post it. So I'm having a lot of Facebook problems too. I love it. I was some of the best times I had in my life hanging out in our admin chat on mushrooms with Francisco and the rest of the amends right <laughs> hanging out with our amends some of the best times I've ever had around here too so I'm gonna go take a train I said on the way here it was really awful because the trains were having problems and I had to get off of the train and take a bus somewhere to another train station and it was really complicated. My train was late. I missed my last train. It was like really horrible what travel. What you? On Friday. Yeah. It was the last time I came here to Stonehenge. Uh. This time I just took two trains here and it was really easy. So I'm hoping for a nice smooth trip home, right? I had to pay for the taxi the rest of I the way home that. because I missed my train and it was hella cash and that whatever. Bad. Yeah. I went to the ATM before I left this time just in case I have any kind of emergency, emergency. Like, like the train leaving me in the middle of nowhere with no other trains coming and me having to go ask some guy to call got, a taxi for me. Yeah. yeah, I got data this time. I had to go ask. I manifested a government employee in a yellow vest to call a taxi for me, but the guy was like hitting on me real creepy the entire time while I sat there next to him for 10 minutes waiting for the taxi and it was real awkward. <laughs> Don't try to have people save you around here, right? Like we were just talking about this. Yeah, can you come save me? I need saved. This is what I manifest, You're right? Gonna Creepy guy. And this is a government employee that should be like helping people that need assistance. <laughs> yeah, so you get some girl that's, that's like, I'm from another country, can you call a taxi? I'm having a crisis. And no, they want to use their position to try to fucking torture you and hit on you all creepy. Yeah, the world we live in. I asked some guy in the store where the fucking ATM was. You should. This guy was such a dick to me. By the way, when he walked out the store, he walked right by the ATM. So he clearly, when he walked in the store, he walked by the That's bank it. machine, knew where it was. And I just asked this guy if he knew where the ATM was. And he just fucking, I forget what he said, mumbled some shit to me and like with his hand and walked by me. <laughs> And then I noticed when he walked back to his car when I did find the ATM after walking around the whole store five times I did notice he walked right by the ATM and he clearly knew where it was So ignorant Yeah, I was people like, like no, in this That's how people are, they the don't strangers want to help They don't want to seconds. talk to strangers, yeah They just don't, don't want to interact or help anybody out for three seconds I'm a fucking Taurus, give me a break <laughs> I'm a Taurus, give me a break, right? 
So, more being of service, right? I think that person was getting tested and they had no idea. I'm a it teacher. Fucking failed. I am a spiritual teacher. I think that person may have gotten tested that I just collided with at the store and they clearly didn't do a good job of helping someone in need. <laughs> Someone that would have They could have just said the ATM is over there, right? They were like, fuck you, I gotta go. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they were like, fuck you, I gotta go. So sometimes we're in the matrix doing our bullshit, grocery shopping or whatever. And, you know, sometimes we're testing the people around us more than we know. <laughs> so, topics today. What have we been talking about? I was telling her fun stories about when I manifested someone to save me before. And I got the reptilian. <laughs> I said, just yeah. for fun, because you know I don't need saved, right? If you know me, I really don't need saved ever. I'm cool. So just for fun, um, we were trying to manifest someone to save us for our situation. And I was telling her a fun story about what I attracted to me. That's where a lot of relationships go wrong, right? Where they're trying to get someone to save you in your yeah. situation. And then you draw the psychopath, the reptilian, the narcissist, and whatever level. You, you don't attract anything good towards you, do you? <laughs> Just vultures. And no. Yeah, it was not good. We're here. I got dad. It's so good that I can't wait to get home because I couldn't record outside with the Wi Fi. And I got so much data on my phone. I'm going to be able to do live videos outside in the garden too now. So I'm excited. This trip really moved some stuff for me. I'm about to take my videos up next level. <laughs> Being able to record in other places other than the living room and my bedroom. Yeah. That will shame in summer when you come to the garden. Because it's summertime, it's gorgeous here outside. We have a really nice garden and it's so beautiful, the energy out there. And I was dying to record out there, so I got summer goals. We're, get, we're planning our March trip already. We're looking at the crop circles because um, just like the space weather, I can track it. I kind of track the crop circles too. And they usually start out the end of June, first week of July-ish, like same kind of periods per year. They have an entire crop circle information center here that we just saw. So we're gonna come back next time and stay an extra day. Oh God, yeah. And we're, we're gonna, got so much to say. but they're probably gonna have a crop circle here at that time in this area. And you know what? When we're driving through here, and it's all fields, like these Stonehenge fields. It's all fields. This is probably a landing zone. It was probably a landing zone of some sorts, like Machu Picchu. My, Machu say Picchu. <laughs> say it again. Machu Picchu. Might have been a landing zone. It might have been some type of aircraft landing zone for extraterrestrial type of stuff. I'm not sure. But when you look at these fields and then how they get the crop circles here it's probably some type of landing zone interdimensionally well apparently this area is rife for crop circles around Stonehenge well they don't have them in America <laughs> let me just tell you why because it's too low frequency that you know we're talking about the rocks and how last time I couldn't find my friends either because I couldn't pass through the porthole because of my friend I had with me and that that's why it was a much different experience coming here this time because I could pass through that gateway into those higher dimensions uh, I guess I needed Sherry who was of a high enough frequency to do it with me right um, so before last time it was a different experience I couldn't get into that dimensional party I was trying to access right I couldn't find my friend to do it we were saying Dale and so this time it was much different we clearly were in those higher dimensions and went through into those realms through that gateway it, yeah it was so easy how, mm -hmm. how we found him as well meant to be if it's meant to there be it'll be people there than the one last time so many more people there too right so it's crazy how it played out we loved it hi john we're talking about amazing um we're pulling up sites and ruins in the uk you should see some of the energy that they've caught on camera in some of these places it's mind-blowing the picture sherry was just showing me of some I'm of these gonna, ruins i'm gonna send them all to you so you can share them we're gonna put them on the reiki wall we're looking at other um sacred sites and other areas we want to go explore at there was so much elemental, crazy, interdimensional energies there that were clearly at the same party as the people that in the unseen, and it was just the most amazing, beautiful spiritual energy. And you know what? Um, this is all about us upgrading our bodies through yeah. the energy being put out on the planet. So if you go to some of these areas and you're in that energy, it will activate you a lot faster and upgrade you and really help you with your ascension. They say that, you know, those rocks are very powerful for ascension because if you go near them, and you're a high frequency, they will do something to your energy and like completely heal you and like really help with it. Yeah. I climbed the rocks. <laughs> Wait, let, we didn't even tell them the story. Let's recap our adventure last night. So we go to the wood henge, right? 
Woodhenge. Wood. If, wait, wait. No, after. Yeah, we, we went to Woodhenge, it's blocked off. Because we couldn't get in. Yeah, the so that we couldn't get in because they, they say it's open 24 hours a day online. Yep. And then they just block the road off so you can't go there. They don't want us accessing this energy. Are you We're kidding? We're close to maintenance. We are their worst nightmare. <laughs> energy workers going to play in this energy. They don't want it. So we go to Avesbury. It's pitch black. We smoked hella weed in the car with you guys. We're doing our usual. We got hella high. And then we go to go to this place and... I climbed the rocks. I said, this is why they don't want you on the rocks at Stonehenge. Because you could fall and break your neck because they're real wet. <laughs> could probably fall and break your neck climbing down. <laughs> Someone could break an ankle or break their neck. I climbed up on top of the rock. I said I was I telling Dale and Sherry at Stonehenge that I want to rock climb these things. I'm into rock climbing out. I climbed like the arable cliffs in the Middle East. <laughs> I went with no harnesses and batter no equipment. Like I'm into rock climbing. So I want to climb these structures. I'm like, hmm, I want to come back at night and climb up there. And uh, I seen it where people did that with the old Mayan ruins too, climbed up that shit, right? So I knew I wanted to be on top of the rocks the whole time. I was like putting out the vibes for it, instant manifest. I did, clearly can't climb Stonehenge, you'll get arrested. But I did climb up on the Avesbury rocks, which were the rock circle, and it was the same rocks as Stonehenge. You could see it was made out of the exact same material with the glitter crystals Absolutely. in it. And I, when I, when we took the picture up there, the energy was so crazy on top of the rocks. When we took these pictures, most of them turned out that pink color. Our phones were not working. It was making all of our electronics not work. Her car, our phones, it was doing yep. weird stuff with our phones like we had no service. So I climb up these rocks and when I was looking at the pictures after, underneath the rocks, or, UK, underneath the rocks, uh, around the rocks, it really imprinted the earth. Like there was a circle of energy imprint. So I know it's the same at Stonehenge that it's like imprinting the earth from having those structures on there. So I'm on top of these rocks, it was the craziest energy up there picking up on camera. Like I knew that the top of the rocks have the craziest energy yeah. because they're conductors. And it's kind of like, I don't even know, it's crazy. I'm going back with shrooms. <laughs> You, we're going back now this Avesbury place had complete spirit energy and I'm real tuned into the energies around me I can see energy and I'm starting to be able to see it better and better with my physical eyes and just driving there you could see the energies crazy energies and I can only describe it as spirit as in ghost kind of energy like spirit energy and that place had the most eerie vibe, but not in a bad way. People think like ghosts not and get freaked out. Way. Not oh, in a no. scary way, but when I activated myself on these rocks, I did the same thing with my third eye and was showing her how to, we can get activated. I did call on the ancestors to assist us with our light worker missions. We say it's too much for us to handle and we need that assistance in the unseen. So I just knew I could feel that yeah. ancestral presence in these places and I knew to call on the ancestors to help us with our missions with what we're trying to do. It was really powerful energy though. When I was trying to take the pictures, you could see the spirit energy everywhere. It was just so intense, the energy in a different type of way. Very. Yeah. It must be, I said it was probably a graveyard anyway it, by the markers. It, it was different to Stonehenge. It's probably a, the, a lot so of those, good, but different. yeah, those stone markers, a lot of them might be graves too, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but you could tell there's a lot of ancestral type of energy. I said that these people were badasses, these pagans. We'll just say pagan, anyone not Christian. Yeah. They were badass. They gave the queen a run for their money, yeah. right? They got sick of the queen plundering and killing all their people. And taking their shit. If you look at Viking history, they actually came and invaded the island. Yeah. <laughs> they got sick of it and decided to fight. These were warriors. You could pick up on this crazy warrior energy. Even when I was doing the video last night, I was like, you guys are fucking warriors, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are warriors. There's a serious warrior energy around. I'll just put it this way. It's The fight isn't much different in what we're facing today, right? Yeah, the energy's in the air, and at Stonehenge, the energy's in the ground. Dale's our Stonehenge expert, right? Yeah. He's the one who pulled me on his timeline, so I could go to Stonehenge. Like, so I'm trying energy, to pull you guys you there. Avery is in the air. That's why our photographs were like the were then. In the air. It was insane, the yeah. Issues. 
I did lots of activations. One person got sick from the activations. I told her that if you're already purging from the energy, that just colliding with my energy, it could do that to people. You should see my husband. <laughs> that just, cause I, I'm just always detoxing and doing energy work and trying to do this ascension. So hopefully my energy is getting real strong. So I had to say that if you're already purging and you get, have me send you energy, it could amplify that, but it's poison coming out of your body. We need to release this shit for ascension that we can't carry this stuff around with us. So that is coming to the surface right now. I had an amazing experience doing Reiki on Dale and Sherry in the rocks. I sent out activations. I was doing energy work almost like the whole time I was here anyway. I was doing a lot of energy work, trying to connect with people. I tried to do a lot of videos like right now because you know, even this energy right now in Salisbury is very powerful energy yeah. that in these whole areas it's such a crazy energy just sitting here smoking I was shaking all night like I am now a little bit I'm probably shaking I was like shaking like my whole body feels real shaky being in this energy but yeah <laughs> she's not even smoking she rolled like three joints right <laughs> Sherry wait hello everyone this is why you adventure with we girls <laughs> The other girl was like, I need weed so bad in my Stonehenge with my kids, I need weed, right? This is why you want to adventure away weed girls probably too. I'm just saying it'll be more chill. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll be more chill. Weed. We just want food and sleep and weed. weed. Yeah, low maintenance. Please. Weed girls are low maintenance. <laughs> what do we really want? Hella, <laughs> hella food, merging, and fucking weed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> top reasons you want a weed girl. Weed girl, definitely. Hi. I'm channeling out energy or you guys will have an energy crash today. Sorry, I, I really know these energies good if I don't yeah. get on here and just say hi and we can laugh a little that you guys will hit an energy hit, crash hit, after hit, that hit, storm yeah. and you'll feel like shit today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my job and lift up the vibes. It doesn't really matter what I'm talking about. I'm sending out very energy. spiritual energy. It's always less about what I'm talking about, more about the energy. I'll make you feel better. So America is about to get creamed. When you look at the um, the mimic maps, I'm real into science. I was telling Sherry that at one point in time, I would have joined the elite, right? I was a little kid and I was probably like 10 years old and I got sent to a psychiatrist. And this guy had like 50 degrees on the wall from Harvard. I was a very intuitive kid. He had like 50 degrees on the wall. He was some old guy with a beard. Wait, I got the best story, right? And as a kid, I'm thinking, this guy is trying to tell me about how I feel and about my life when he has zero life experience. <laughs> zero real world experience, yeah. right? And I, at that point in time as a kid, I was one of those kids who knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. I was going to be a psychiatrist, okay? Yeah, swear. And so I went, I was going to all the school for it. The universe did not want me on that path. If you know me, I'm Aries Ascending and I'll give the universe a run for its money too. And I fought very hard to keep going through my college and finishing school. And, you know, I went through the same brainwashing the doctors go through. I had to do a lot of the same classes, clearly. And so I kind of understand it a little bit more deeply now that these people are just getting indoctrinating and regurgitating what they've learned in school. And, you know, that would be an easy job to, you know, assist people prescribing medication, but clearly it's part of the problem. So I have a lot of really good scientific knowledge. I was playing like CSI and labs and blood types and all the fun stuff that we're into. So I'm real into science. I put this mimic map up, which measures the energy hitting the globe basically in a basic way. And you can see on these maps that as these storms are happening, first up, a lot of energy is coming from in our, not just the UK, but Antarctica with these storms and going across the globe. And so if you look at those maps, the UK is lit up in crazy colors and Australia a lot of the time. And America is not getting a lot of that energy, believe it or not. There is a hole in the ozone in California, so more energy comes in on the West Coast out of any place in the US. But a lot of that energy isn't even making it across the ocean very strong. So, you guys are going to get this uh, storm. I said I don't want to hear anyone in the U.S. crying about their ascension symptoms ever again after moving here. I just don't want to. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I told Sherry that. I don't want to hear you guys crying in the come U.S. Come spend a week in the U.K. Yeah, come spend a week. Come hang out <laughs> at Stonehenge. I don't want to hear it anymore. I just don't want to because it's a different kind of energy and these storms nail the U.K. on all new levels. I've been preparing and training for this my whole life and I have a very hard time navigating these storms since I got here. Oh, we're close to Christmas. No wonder the frequencies are starting to drop. 
Yeah, we're close to Christmas. The frequencies are starting to drop fast around here. We gotta raise them up fast. Yeah. We gotta lift up the vibes. That's why I'm going to solstice where I deal. It really is. It's all Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I was. Everyone's like, you can't go for Christmas. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm pagan. Did you not see my Facebook page and all the comments everywhere calling me pagan? <laughs> <laughs> that was the solstice one. I guess Christmas. I'm pagan now, non Christian, I'll just say. I'm done now for you. Yeah, I've got no else to celebrate. Red flags, you can't be enslaved. <laughs> pagan equals un unindoctrinatable yeah. into Christianity. Red flags. <laughs> Huge red flags. Oh my god, so much energy. Yeah, Australia gets nailed. Go look at the mimic map on the Reiki wall. I put a nice thing up about for the US people too. I'm always trying to put out what's coming with the energy so we can be prepared for it. So if you're in the US, um, you're gonna get hit with some crazy energy till Wednesday. I told her I'm glad that we're here during this storm because we're running around the whole time, right? We're moving around constantly. If yeah. I'm at home and I'm laying in bed, stagnant, stagnant. This when this energy hits, I feel like shit. Like I would rather just be tired and moving around and getting shit done or manifesting or working or whatever I do, right? We've not slept much, really. Yeah, we haven't we? slept. We're We've cool. We've been on the go. We haven't slept at all. I did sleep like five hours last night, but let's get real. I woke up in the middle of the night. That's I go to the, the bathroom. Sleep we've had. I go to the bathroom right there, <laughs> and fucking this guy walks out in his underwear. And he's like fucking 55 plus <laughs> and he's wearing like little tiny Lies from, Lies <laughs> European <laughs> European speedos <laughs> and walks out of the bathroom. I know he was doing what I do and thinking that he was just going to run to the bathroom and not run into anyone because the place is everyone's asleep and was like horrified he ran into me. But yesterday when I forgot my towel, it was only the next door over. I was thinking, do you think I can run into my room naked without anyone noticing? I did not. But I was gauging that. Was. It was just the next door, door the next door next over. Door I'm thinking, do you out? think that I could really run into this next door and no one will notice? But I didn't do it. But clearly this guy did. <laughs> and my hair's all crazy. <laughs> my hair, I said, trust me, I don't care. I just had to piss. <laughs> Yes, I put the mimic map up. It will show the incoming energy. Those two posts are from this morning. They're very uh, up to date. I did put it up. Exploring the UK. These buildings are ancient anyway. I can't tell if they're sparkling. We're looking for sparkling rock around here. <laughs> Not that one. Some of these buildings probably are from around that time. Some of these houses, right? <laughs> you know that base stone? That, that, uh, that could be quarried rock. The yeah. one at the bottom. Mm-hmm. But the other stuff now. We're stealing rocks. <laughs> I had a dream I threw we're the looking for rocks everywhere. I had a dream I threw the rock out the window into some water and we were like me and Sherry in the dream world last night and I was like because I'm doing my lucid dream stuff, I threw the rock into the into the ocean. It was probably by my house too. And then you were like, Oh my god, I think that was from Stonehenge, we need to get it. And I said, Don't worry, I threw it in a shallow area in case we had to go back. <laughs> go back for it. <laughs> I'm dreaming about the rocks. But we checked it today and decided not to keep it, didn't we? Yeah. So, it's okay. We got permanently energetic altered when you go there. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, the Inquisition. These are all our experiences. I'm sorry. You are consciousness. Experiencing itself again and again. <laughs> Every story ever here is yours. <laughs> Every story that ever happened here is yours. You are your ancestors. You have become these people. Again and again. I'm pretty sure the government killed us all, just to let you know, too. That's why we have so much fear over the government going on here. At one time or another, you definitely got crucified by the government yeah. in some type of way. I got so, at stake, me. I know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's how it all comes together, though, that people might not be consciously aware of this, but on some deep level, they probably really don't like the government around here. Like, on deep levels, they probably can't even explain it. People just kind of distrust the government. I'm going to go merge timelines back with my husband. The last time I did that, it was very hard for me to do. I walked into the cop drama. and The first other time when the cops came, I didn't get it on video that time. I wasn't there. They, they came to hit him up. They hit him up during the space the storm. So they, like his court was Tuesday, the first day of the space storm, because then he'll probably think shitty thoughts a lot of the storm about his court stuff. So they always hit him on the craziest energy days, too. Yep. So they hit him both times during this. They hit him this time in court for the equinox. They came to harass him for the solstice, saying they were going to arrest him. So they came and hit him right in those storms, too. And it was really hard for me to merge back onto my timeline on my house after going to Stonehenge. So we shall see how it goes this time. 
it makes it easier that Dale could go to the rocks with us both times we didn't catch him last time but because then he can pull me onto his timeline I was connecting with people in the United Kingdom like Sherry and other people so that they can merge me into their reality right I'm liking his reality I see and Stonehenge all over his page right I'm liking the realities <laughs> so it makes it easier for like Francisco to come visit the rocks because he can come merge onto my timeline and meet oh, me we're there taking Francisco yeah to we're Ape we're gonna make Francisco break into the Avesbury rocks and climb them. I need the other joint now. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, I'm gonna do one more joint and then I'm gonna get off of feet. But I want to send good energy. We're gonna have Francisco climb in the rocks. Can you imagine how fun that will be? We needed a third person to hold the light. We need a flashlight next time, and we need someone to hold the light anyway. So oh yeah, we need a strong light. Yeah. We need flashlights. We might need some rock chipping equipment too. I'm not talking about Stonehenge. I'm talking about some of the other rocks that they uh, find no that well, they built a road they find they find no value Avery. in these stones. Apparently, I want to chip off a piece and take it home from Avesbury. So I don't know if that's doable. <laughs> People are like, I don't know if that's doable. Things we might want to look into. We might want some EMF type of equipment. We may need some ghost hunting gear too for when we go back to Avesbury. I'm thinking that we need some kind of paranormal equipment. Yeah, I'm do. thinking I could get like a camera I could just hold and be able to like scan the area to see what's there paranormally. So things Brittany can help Google, help me with maybe. We could look up some paranormal cheap gear we could get so that when we come back here, we can show you all the crazy shit there. <laughs> Talk about the ghost hunting. <laughs> Let's go ghost hunting there. You know that's one of my dreams. I I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. I want to go ghost hunting. I I could do my house too. You guys know I have a ghost there that is benevolent, but at least they're on a different time zone than me. So they're up. The ghost is around when I'm sleeping all the time. I haven't had a lot of. I had several encounters there though too. It was probably someone who lived there. <laughs> so whatever. I'm just not in the mood. They're trying to give me messages. I'm going to my fridge. I'm not in the mood. I'm not channeling anymore. <laughs> catch me in the morning. You have to catch me nine to five if you know me. <laughs> I told the ghost they have to make an appointment nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. On. I would love to take your messages, but I'm going to bed right now. Go I'm on my fridge. Yeah, you have to catch me nine to five like everyone else around here. So I would love to go ghost hunting there. That's one of my dreams. Hi, Tony. Oh my God, she's late to the party. Oh, Tony. We're talking about oh, you yes. too. Your ears are ringing. Yeah. We're talking about you two here, Francisco. We're talking about all of you, Nicola, Brittany. Oh, it's totally coming in March. <laughs> Can you come in March? Who wants to go ghost hunting? <sighs> Who wants to not only go to the rocks? We did two sacred states in one day. Who wants to go get high and go ghost hunting with us? So we need paranormal equipment. I'm gonna manifest it very cheaply. We can put it on my Stonehenge expenses. You know, I had to get yeah. a lot of hiking gear this time <laughs> to go hiking gear. I had hiking boots. So I could climb the rocks, right? Wait, because I'm going to ditch these. Hiking boots to climb the rocks. <laughs> I came back geared up and ready. Wait, I had, wait, so you got that gear for next I had this seri the serial killer gloves, like the black gloves that you would probably wear killing someone too. I had like the waterproof crazy gloves. Come for your birthday. We want to go ghost hunting. Yeah, so it's crazy spirit. I say spirit, not like how people say they channel spirit. And when people use that word spirit around here, I give them the look. If you know me, I give them the look. I'm channeling spirit. <laughs> I don't fuck with spirits and I don't channel them. I, I just, you know, I'm doing my thing. So I just give them the look because they say I'm channeling spirit like it's God. They act like it's God. So there's a difference between spirit energy and the source energy that I channel on my feeds. And so, you know, it's something new to me. A lot of these energies, you know, I'm real good with energy, but I'm getting tuned into other energies I'm not used to, like the elemental energy, the spirit energy this time. You know, it's kind of outside of my realm of expertise, yeah. but I could definitely see the energy and it was crazy to me and mind blowing. I couldn't get it, the things I'm seeing on video, obviously I would. And so I need some kind of gear so we can get it on video. <laughs> so we need some kind of thermal energy sensing gear, whatever they use for ghost hunting. That will be so epic. I'm manifesting it now. I need to go ahead and use this storm to put out my manifestation. So, 111. Yep, 111. Things I'm going to manifest. Yep. So we're gonna go hunt for the spirit energy. We're gonna go. We're gonna go play with the spirit energy, and it actually was very receptive to us and us being there. Believe it or not, right? Um, very receptive. I found as light workers and healers and what we're doing, that we have a lot of assistance in the unseen. You guys know that. Rockbusters. We need to talk about that too, Brittany. <laughs> 
How can we, without damaging the rocks, chip some pieces off for us? Yeah. I do. It would be possible. It would be. It would be so It'd easy. Be easy. So It'd easy. Be. They don't even give Not a fuck. They have sheep grazing in the same field like yeah. it's a farm. They built a road through the They the built roads the through it. Stone circle. <laughs> they built a road through the stone so circle. So I think if we take a bit, I don't think anybody will mind. Yeah, those rocks. The ancestors won't mind. No, they won't mind. So we anyways, they're encouraging me. <laughs> <laughs> they're encouraging us after going there. We need pieces of the rocks. We did try. I was gonna, this guy had a garden right there because we couldn't find any rocks. And their gate was open and I was gonna go steal some rocks out of their garden but their lights were on and it looked like they might have a security system as well I wasn't sure so I was thinking about it because the gate was open right there They're, they were like a few inches away their garden rocks right and I was really thinking about it we're gonna have to do this like expert level though seriously I said that if we didn't go at night someone would have called the cops but yeah. you know that the solstices and the equinoxes make the other realms real thin right that that space storm energy is like a gateway for the interdimensional, for the spiritual. So I'm sure if I went there next week at night, it wouldn't be the same kind of elements there. You know what I mean? It makes it so you can see the spiritual easier. Um, so, you know, you need that crazy energy too. So if we're coming for Stonehenge, you may as well just go hit two sacred sites in one day. I said we couldn't have climbed the rocks because some asshole would have called. They would have, have, called... have called the cops on me. <laughs> Are you kidding? Some asshole neighbor would have called the cops. There's houses all right there, like a huge area of houses. They built houses it's in their sacred the, sites. They built them on the mound. Yeah, they built houses on these sacred sites. This site is on middle of a populated area. Middle, middle so you village. couldn't have done that during the day either. It was perfect timing for us to go there, right? Because we couldn't have done this crazy stuff. And next time we're going to come more prepared. With flashlights. And a hammer and chisel. Ghost hunting gear and flashlights. I can't wait. I'm going to manifest it. I didn't get a tattoo. I'm going to get one on my no ring. They're closed on Sunday. We called every place, too. This guy was like, I can't understand you when he called, too. I can't. These people can't understand me. Um, so they're all closed on Sunday. But I, I'm coming, when I come back, I'm getting a ring tattoo because um, for my wedding ring, I'm going to do a ring ta little ring tattoo, a tiny one. I'm real sensitive to everything, so I couldn't do like a big tattoo now after being awakened. I could barely go to the dentist last time, right, <laughs> to do like a cavity filling. So I'm just really sensitive to everything. I'm not all about having needles put in me, but I'm going to do another ring tattoo. I'm real excited. Oh, good. You're smiling. That's what we need you to do today, right now. Mission accomplished for me, right? Okay. Mission accomplished. I want, yeah, I heard some lady that was a teacher of mine for the Soul Fusion class. She, I got, I was attracted to her because I heard she was like the Indiana Jones of the spiritual and that she was playing in Tibet and doing all this like crazy shit, <laughs> excavating sacred sites in Tibet. And it's right up my alley, but she's not someone we would actually hang out with there. I thought maybe we could hook up with some light workers in Tibet. Um, that's what I try to do whenever I'm going anywhere. So I'm putting the vibes out for some Tibet light workers. This wasn't someone that we would hang out with, but I thought it was interesting too, because I'm all about being the Indiana Jones of the spiritual, right? Yeah. So, all we need you to do, and I think we did that last night because a lot of you guys were watching my feeds last night, and good, because we were smiling and laughing and high vibe, and that's all you had to do to get through that gateway and to land on a better timeline. So us just hanging out and vibing in the group last night, you guys were high vibe, and it helped shift you onto a higher timeline with what we were doing with the space storm. So it's really needed right now with this energy. Yeah, European tattoo artist. The entire UK is closed on Sunday, and you need an appointment for everything, Sherry says. Yeah, well, next time we're going to I'm gonna book it in advance. We'll already have our slot booked for when we get here. Sherry will book it. I can't I book anything. These people can't talk to me. I'll sort it. <laughs> they don't speak galactic here. <laughs> I'll, I'll sort it. <laughs> they don't speak galactic. I'll be getting one as well. Oh, good. You're feeling lovely. Good. P isn't feeling so hot, but he's purging out a lot of shit with having core right at the beginning of the space storm. Talk yeah. about healing. That'll pull up a lot of garbage from his past core experiences. So he's really kind of sick and not feeling good and laying around, but He'll be feeling a lot better when I get home, I know. And I was, I said I was glad I wasn't there when he wasn't feeling good anyway because then I probably wouldn't feel so hot. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually had fun this time, Tony. That's like a miracle right there. <laughs> I actually had fun. I never have fun. I have two words, mo work, and, work and chill. <laughs> 
Well, two modes, work and chill, right? If you know me. So I actually have fun. Pete told me to have fun. I said, no, I, I will not have fun. I'll have fun when I get home after I do all these activations. Right? I'm going to work. I'm not going to have fun. You know me, right? <laughs> we can have fun later. Maybe in the new earth. Yeah. <laughs> this is me. Maybe later we'll have fun. I'm not having fun. And so we actually had so much fun, too. The whole time. <clears throat> so much fun. Good. Sunday fun day. She's going to do mushrooms. <laughs> Which I was told were a drug here. I said they're a consciousness expanding tool. Just like crystals. They want those illegal, too. The rocks are illegal, too. <laughs> the rocks are illegal too. Crystals are pretty much illegal too because if you see the prices they go for. <laughs> right? Yeah. So anyways, I won't go there. I said they are consciousness expanding tools. I look at them like training wheels. Just like the Reiki symbols. I don't use symbols when I do my attunement work. Um, I never have. It's just me. I know people might be horrified at that, right? I don't use symbols at all. They're very good for expanding your consciousness, clearly. Any kind of symbols, right? But they're training wheels. They're literally training wheels. They're supposed to teach you how to tune into the energy and how to send attunements and stuff like that. And same with the crystals, the weed, the tarot cards were a great training wheel for me. I did so many card videos that, wow, I didn't need the cards anymore. And I could just download and channel, right? And so I kind of through past cards too and things like that they're very good for training wheels right to get you into the spiritual and you know learn abilities and things like that they really are um, so these are really good stepping stones for people that want to expand their consciousness work on their abilities right it's consciousness expanding tools crystals tarot cards symbols uh, psychedelics if you're doing drugs of any kind and mushroom might become a drug if you're doing it to get high every day, just like crack, right? Or anything else. I mean, nothing is, everything is bad, not in moderation. Yeah. If you're, you know, if drugs are fucking your life up in your world, then they're probably not good for you, right? So it depends on your intent and how you're using these things. When I do mushrooms, I do them in a very shamanic way, just like Brit, where we're intending to take them to heal, to see things that we can't see with our own eyes. Um, for more information about how the universe works and things like that. So your intent is powerful. When I did mushrooms as a teenager trying to get high with my friends, they worked much differently and I had much different experiences than when I'm doing them in a spiritual capacity too. It's just way different to be doing them awake and with intent and purpose for healing and things like that. It's just like your weed, right? You can program them any way you want. I'm kind of past the need to do psychedelics. I just think it would be a trip to fucking go run around Stonehenge on them. But in my own everyday life, I, I haven't been taking them. That I have outgrown these things. Just like I outgrew the Reiki symbols and the cards. That I've outgrown them. And that I'm downloading just the same. Like I would on the mushrooms anyway. And so it's probably better for me just to stick to the weed or whatever. Because I'm just downloading the same anyway. And so I'm not getting the same out of them as I probably would when I first started doing them maybe six months ago again right so it's a different experience for me so at this point I'm not really doing things like that I'm all about um, tuning in you know naturally and holistically and things like that but I'm definitely doing them at Stonehenge just because you know it's gonna be so crazy around all those people and the rocks but after I got back from Stonehenge last time I might do this again I did mushrooms and I use my I document my life for a reason so that I can go look back on things if I need to you wouldn't believe that when I did acid and I was using my video I had done in California of my rainbow aura I was using that to access myself and using that footage while on psychedelics to do things so the universe has me doing crazy things with my footage right so I get back from Stonehenge and I'm supposed to be downloading on the things I wanted to know about I had a lot of questions about the history of Stonehenge the history of the Druids um, a lot of this stuff I did mushrooms and I watched my Stonehenge videos and I was doing a lot of looking at the pictures of the rocks so that I could tune into the rocks and use them kind of you can use a photo like a gateway into a person or a place right so I was using the psychedelics to download the history of the rocks and everything that had happened there it was fucking mind-blowing and insane I couldn't even get into it right and I got all the information I wanted I knew everything I had questions about and now I have much different questions this time going back about the place which Dale pretty much answered all my questions too, not realizing it, that he was giving me a lot of the information that I needed, very channeled, right? 
that I came there with a lot of questions this time. I had a much different intent, I told you on video. And he answered so much and taught me a lot that without even realizing it, some of the things that he told me, trust me, they clicked and made a lot of sense to me. Sometimes we're giving people advice and it might not make a lot of sense, the things that we're choosing to say at the time, but it could have a profound effect on the person we're talking to, right? Well, that's why I felt honored to be there and to witness that. I loved it. We couldn't have come without you. This was your mission. We couldn't have come without Sherry, who's been driving us to sacred sites, uh, rolling weed for me the whole time, saving me with the weed. She gave me some OG Kush. What is that? Yeah, OG Kush. And when I was in California, I would always pick the OG kinds of weed. I will always go for the OG kind. I don't know why. So she brought me some good weed that smells crazy. When we were at Stonehenge, I was like, I smell weed. <laughs> I smell weed. weed. I think someone's smoking me. weed. No, it's Sherry. <laughs> you smell the weed before you see me coming. You could smell the weed. It smelled real good. I was like, you smell really good. Like perfume and weed. It smelled really good. Like It was like some kind of like shower kind of stuff. Scented. Shower stuff and perfume. It smelled really good. <laughs> okay. So, you know what? We know I noticed too, because I'm downloading a lot here. You bring me to these areas and I'll start. I've been downloading the whole time. That's why I'm so crazy yeah, on video. I'm downloading so much time. information that is blowing my mind, ungrounding me, and I can't even articulate it all. So, you know, we always want everyone to be the same, like in society, like the herd mentality, right? The sheep mentality. The reason why everyone is creating such similar experiences here, we can create whatever we want and we always could. We could wake up anytime we want to and get spiritual, right? We could realize yeah. we're spiritual again too. Everyone's spiritual. This is all very spiritual. So the reason why that everyone's reality looks the same is because we got programmed by the government. We got programmed by our parents who got programmed by the government and then we got programmed by the government going to school. You'll notice a lot of the realities look the same with what people are creating, especially with relationship patterns. I went through a fucked up relationship experience very similar to Sherry's. And then we see that empath group, the empath group I, I'm in, that a lot of people are in that place where they're going through the shitty relationship patterns on every level. So we really got programs real over the top in a negative capacity so that yeah. we would create shitty realities. We've all had to break away from programming. All of us. All of every us. single one of us. There's not one of us that's not being affected by it. Yeah, all of us. In one way, shape, or form. It scares people when you don't act like everyone else. It could be the clothes you wear. It could be, some, it could be your vibration. You're not on the same yeah. frequency as the rest of humanity anymore. That's what I need bad too, right? <laughs> Listen, you're not on the... Yeah, I know. Have you not got all? No, drink mine already. We're on the same... I know, it's sad. We're on the same frequency as the rest of humanity when we're at that low frequency and that herd mentality. So once you start to elevate and move out of it, you're going to make people uncomfortable that are sleeping. <laughs> very uncomfortable just on energetic levels like while it's making you uncomfortable to be around people at a low frequency they're gonna be more and more uncomfortable around you too because you're not fitting in with what you're supposed to conform to on every level I wonder how many people are Christian on this planet right now probably a lot if you look at those kind of religions they've really spread globally thanks to the elite and the Queen right um, and you see a huge Christian influence too. You need to remember that if you're not following, yeah, if you're not following Jesus, then you're going to hell according to these religions. Oh, can you open this for me too? <laughs> you're going to hell according to these religions. And there's been such an imprint and these have, these religions have been passed down. Usually our religion, your parents are, right? They keep getting passed down too. And there's, I know, can either one of us go open it? There's, there's such, like yeah, there's such a fear though that if you go experience. against Christianity that you're going to hell. You're a bad person. You're a sinner, right? <laughs> you're a sinner. You're not following Christianity. But there's a lot of that still here, that Christian influence. It's a big part of our barrier we had to get past. So remember, there's probably a 90% chance that the sleepers are Christian <laughs> in a lot of countries, right? Oh, absolutely. These, so when you're asleep, you're in religion a lot of the time, right? You're looking for God through religion a lot of the time. That's somebody else's idea of spirituality. We're it? going against everything they've been programmed to believe. Everything they've been programmed to believe. They have such a fear of hell and, you know, all this stuff. Good, watch it on replay. I'm going to download these and put them on YouTube, the videos I did, and the Stonehenge videos the past few days. So when I get home, I'll put them all on there. 
Yes, we're not on the same frequencies. The problem is we were always trying to lower our vibe to fit in with other people. Yeah. To vibe with other people. We were always lowering our frequency to meet other people on those low frequencies. It's part of the problem that we need to learn how to just keep our frequency high as we can every day. And depressed and anxious and drained. The problem is you can't raise your frequency overnight too. No. So these sleepers, <laughs> they're at a low frequency. And if you're waiting till the last minute to do this ascension, I'm a few years in like a lot of you guys, it's going to be really hard to do that detoxing and purging and purifying so fast to catch up with where everyone's at that is that. ascending. So we've been programmed a certain way to think a certain way, right? Someone says it's about thinking. This is a war on consciousness. It's a war on your mind. Destroy the mind. People make themselves sick with their thoughts on their own, right, too. Yeah. It's a huge part of it. Everyone, I know we need to detox, and that is part of it. But a lot of it is our mental programming. I was saying we have a friend that says she's sick every single day to me. And he's Reiki. And I said, you know what? If I don't feel good a couple of days in a row and I say I'm sick a couple of days in a row, the next day I'll wake up yeah. not feeling so good. Yeah. <laughs> All I gotta do is say I don't feel good to myself two days in a row and the third day I'll probably wake up feeling sick. If you're telling yourself you're sick all the time, that's what you're gonna manifest. That's what you're gonna manifest and bring out more and more. So people get sick and wake then they start saying they feel like shit, feel I fucking different. have this wrong with me and they start talking about it all the time, right? I'm sick, I can't do this, this is wrong with me and they start putting it out into as she says the ether. Yeah. The ether. And she says you can't, she said to me today, she's channeling too, that you can't take back whatever you're out putting there, out into out the ether. There. Once you put it's your free. thoughts out into that ether, sorry, you can't take it back. I it's try to, free, it's out there, it's gone, and it, you've got no control over it anymore. I, I try to violet flame any purging I'm putting out, but you know that's not working so hot. Let's get real. So we have to be careful with the things we're purging out and putting them out into the ether as we're doing this ascension because we're going to be purging out all that shit programming, ancestral trauma, our own baggage, whatever it is. And we're putting out a lot of vibrations into this ether, this continuum. Yeah. And, you know, they're really affecting our reality. So we have to be more careful too as we're doing these purge cycles because they're going to pick up intensity. More careful. So, be careful as you're doing this ascension with your thoughts. We need to get mastery of our mind. It's like my big thing that I'm mind working on. Mind over matter. All the, all, the, over matter. all the people that were like martial arts people that could do crazy shit, they had, knew that they had to have mastery of their body and mastery of their mind on every level. Absolutely. So, stop complaining. I know people don't feel good with ascension. Stop saying it to yourself. Start saying you're feeling amazing. You're feeling, yeah. you're letting go of garbage. The poison is releasing. Just kidding. You're feeling better. Dale says hi. So, time to let go of the patterns that we have made real. We just make this stuff real around us. It isn't real. It's the illusion. <laughs> we make it very real here. That these experiences become a little too real. Any thoughts? I'm gonna try to get off here, right? She's rolling, she's got more weed. <laughs> I know, like what time is it? Oh yeah, it's half past one. Do I gotta go? Uh, your train's at five to, so, in okay. 25 minutes. We're gonna, my train's in 25 minutes. I'll finish this real slow then. Hi Kelly, we're just chilling. I'm gonna get on a train, it's gonna be crazy. I get to go by the ocean though, it's very pretty. I get to go by, I don't know what ocean that is. I go by a long stretch of ocean to go home and it's really pretty. I'm so bad. I don't <laughs> we even, don't know. I know we've got a North Sea around the UK somewhere, but as for anything else... It's beautiful looking. It really is. It's really nice. They have a nice beach with it. It's English really nice. English Channel is where Plymouth is. That's the English Channel. I don't know. It's really nice. I have ocean by my house too, which I'm really looking forward You're to this summer. You're distance from France where you are. There's a nice little boat area, ocean. It's On really nice. Day, I bet you could even see France mm -hmm. from Plymouth. Yeah, you can see real far. You can see like the whole yeah. city there. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so nuts. I know I have a really nice view of the sun too when it comes up at my house. Well, how it comes up. It's really nice through my bedroom. I love it. Chi gong. <laughs> chi. Master the chi, right? Yeah. We're, we're trying to work on our sacrals around here. So any type of that stuff is really good for your sacral. Energy. The energy everyone's talking about is the same. 
chi, <laughs> wait, let's go, I'm too tired, chi, pranic, reiki, the type of energy that we're talking about harnessing yeah. is all the same. It's one and the same. I took a lot of different types of healing, but, and even the dark energy is divine. <laughs> Even the, if people are channeling energy for dark purposes, right? It's still divine energy too. We can just form it with our intent and thoughts into anything. So it's all the one in the same kind of energy that we're talking about channeling. Um, I took a lot of classes with she at that salt cave. <laughs> I had a really cool teacher. She was learning how to teach. And I really loved that. We'd go to the salt cave and sit in there and listen to her teach. <laughs> sit in the salt cave and... Oh, with all the fucking 10,000 10, pounds of Himalayan salt or whatever and just sit in there and listen to her teach and she we would do I didn't like her exercise classes <laughs> she would do like she exercise classes I wasn't so into the stand-up meditation stuff but it's really good for you you're in New Plymouth where's New Plymouth uh, another country it's another country that's what we said we're in Plymouth in England yeah, they have a Plymouth. New Plymouth will have been named after the original Plymouth. Plymouth. Where it's in the got to be in a kind of like Australia, <laughs> Canada, or America. Where in the it's country is that? Probably the East Coast, it's right? It's got to be America, Canada, Because you know that Australia. the Queen owns the East Coast. That's why they have Commonwealth it's law. It's somewhere in Florida. <laughs> in a lot of states. And um, I see CJ, Agent P's friend, like is going. New England. He's going to court in a Commonwealth a court. And then he's having all the problems with the court. And they're arresting him and stuff. Yeah, Commonwealth area. A.K.A. Queen's Rule. New York, New Hampshire, all named after places in the UK. Yeah, they came and colonized every country in the world almost. <laughs> they came and colonized America, Australia, a lot of India. Canada. Used to be a beautiful place, and if the, the UK, British Empire got their yeah, it's, and then the British Empire got their hands on it. And if the UK is taking control of your country, it became a shithole, slum place overnight, right? Where it was like had so much history and culture and was so beautiful, and they really destroyed that place too. Oh, that's a, one of our other missions. London Museum. Yeah, we want to go to the London Museum because they have all the ancient Egypt stuff. And, you know, that stuff's almost as old as Stonehenge. <laughs> Egypt came after Atlantis stuff, we right? We might to do that before. Yeah, March. we should. Anytime. I can do this. So, I want to go around those Egyptian artifacts because they that was a fourth dimensional place. And so they're going to be at a much higher frequency than us coming into the third dimension. And so it's going to hold all of that ancient energy in it like you know the objects hold energy so those Egyptian artifacts would have so much crazy energy in them I definitely want to go to the museum I might be touching stuff <laughs> we might be getting thrown out but who cares I might be trying to touch stuff too that's Egyptian and doing energy exchanges with it doing Reiki with the artifacts skulls right I bet they've got glass cases around everything. Yeah, I we bet shall see. Got us so far back, we can only just see it. They're gonna have some security. We'll we'll Google it ahead of time. <laughs> we'll Google it. We're like Google and rock security. They are like <laughs> they are like it is illegal here. Light it because I want to hit before we go. We gotta hurry too. We have to go in five minutes because I'm late all the time and I I don't even know this place. Yeah, uh, I'll find train station because I don't know okay. where we are. So I'm gonna get off of here fast. But, yeah, I would definitely, like, those rocks are ancient, and I was doing energy exchanges with them. I want to check out the museum. We Googled the rock police. They said that even though weed, wait, weed is illegal at the rocks, too. Yeah. Boom. If drugs are illegal anywhere, they're illegal at the rocks. Fucking Sorry, rock no cops. drugs, no co no weed. Rock cops made the beeline pills. They them. didn't care about the weed, clearly. They cared about the rocks. They don't want you touching them and standing on them. <laughs> but the government's allowed to do what they want. Yeah, Britain to controls the world. Don't worry, I'm expert level system busting in the UK. It's okay. Me and Sherry got this island under control, right? <laughs> we got this. We're okay. I'm very attracted to Egypt too. I believe that I was teaching there, <laughs> the same stuff I teach now, and that it's just kind of come full circle for me and that I'm very drawn even as um even when I was asleep I was drawn to Egypt and went there into the Middle East and so I was really drawn to these old places Middle Eastern kind of stuff too <coughs> very drawn to it I'm reading the comments we got to get off of here I'm gonna go on a train but you know I'm trying to smoke as much weed as possible before I go have no weed for three hours I'll be home before you know it. I get to skip the mother-in-laws today because I'm late getting home. So I'm gonna go home and take a bath and chill and get good sleep today. And I'm real excited to get home because I'm real homesick too. I'm homesick. 
I want to go play in my pyramid and go chill at my house, right? So we get homesick when we leave. So it makes you feel good when you get home, though. Yeah. When you get out of your house and you go travel somewhere, that you'll go home with a different perspective. Yeah, you know, the shit definitely. you thought was shitty before, you might be real grateful for. <laughs> If you thought your situation was shitty, go travel somewhere. You might be grateful to get home and appreciate it. Here, here you go. I'll give you the weed up, dud. So, we should all be drawn to these past places because we had experiences there and they're very important. But when I look at the Akashic, at some of these galactic places, I'm sure it's the same with the sacred places we lived, that they feel like home to us. But these were places that we loved, <laughs> that we loved to live in, and that we consider to be home to us. It's places we're trying to get back to, though, because, you know, we came here at a low density, going through the third dimension, and in Egypt, it was fourth dimensional, and in Atlantis, it was much higher, in Lumerium, places like that. Um, so we're trying to get back to those ascended states that we were at then now <laughs> we're doing a lot of work to do it so um, these are places that were real high in frequency I love it I call myself raw because I believe it is our consciousness group name <laughs> I believe it is our consciousness group name and it would maybe even be a name that will be seen throughout history it might not have been a deity that was Egyptian it may have been a consciousness group representation or something like that and uh, it was everything that I say we always we caused all of this that we came to teach here and the knowledge that we put out was used for the negative not for the positive that we were trying to teach people the same stuff we're teaching them now and just like I have those problems with the information I have to be careful with what I put out on feed because I have had people around us have tried to use this stuff for the negative in very real ways um, so we tried to do this before and we became very karmically entangled in this place and we're finishing our cycle and it's really come full circle from these places we've learned a lot about interfering with other people's lessons and becoming entangled in their experiences and things like that as teachers. Um, it's why people don't want to teach now, if you're smart, <laughs> right? Yeah. I know a lot of very smart people that should be teaching and they're like, no way, um, because you could become karmically entangled with others. So I know that a lot of people have reserve about teaching again with how things happened and played out. Um, you know, look, the whole of humanity is enslaved and it's probably our fault. <laughs> all of humanity is enslaved. It's really probably all our fault. It goes real far back with the shit that evolved out of this and how it ended up. And here we are experiencing it from the lower bottom of it, right? So, I don't know. We learned a lot of valuable lessons. We're trying to get back to those healers and teachers, though, in whatever regard. And if you're like me, when I woke up, I was like, I don't have anything to teach. I don't have anything to teach. I don't really know a lot, right? I don't have anything to teach. Um, but, you know, we're trying to teach people how to change their energy. It's what we teach, right? Yeah. And we do have a lot to teach just from our own experiences. All I do is get on this feed and talk about the things I'm going through in my life. Any given day, I'm usually ranting about something going on in my life, right? Talking about it. I'm talking about my experiences here. And just talking about the experiences that you're having now and the ones that you've been through, that's enough for us to do this ascension and for us to teach people. Hi, I got Bethany Kent on here. She's fast to be going into her role too, right? Um, so it's where we're headed. Um, I was like, I can't teach and I won't. Yeah, I can't. I can't teach. Sorry, I can't teach. Here's every excuse why I can't. I just can't. I can never do this, right? It just if you know me, I can't. Um, but it's where we're getting pushed back to on every level. I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm gonna go do my train trip and I wanted to send you high vibes. Night, I'm loving all the roundabout. posts. I'm not Taking commenting because I'm banned. <laughs> I'm not commenting and emojiing people, not because I'm ignoring you, but because Facebook's jacking up my profile and I'm banned on like everything I try to do. So I'm not avoiding people, I'm here. And uh, I'll probably do a feed tomorrow, even though I'm gonna rest and chill. I might do one tomorrow or be back Tuesday.